draw a speed time graph for the distance time graph shown. So here we've got a time here against distance, and we've got different stages of the journey. And what we've got to do is draw a speed time graph. Okay, so using this axis here, I'm going to draw a distance time graph, a speed time graph of this graph here. Important fact is that speed is distance over time. So if we split, split the journey up into different stages, so we go from zero to two, then we'll draw that line in. This distance here will be 20, so reading off the scale uh, correctly, this distance here will be two. Therefore, the speed here will be 20 divided by two, which is 10 meters per second. So going down here, two, we need to go at uh, to uh, 10, okay, and all the way through that journey here, it is traveling at 10 meters per second because this is a straight line. Right, from, from two to four, the speed is going to be nothing, it's not going anywhere. So therefore the speed will go drop down to nothing. So we'll go down here for two seconds. Then in for the next part from four to nine, we just need to consider the slope here. So draw that little triangle in, read off the scale correctly. So here that is 15 and this is going to be five. Therefore the speed will be 15 to five, which is three meters per second. So therefore the next three seconds, we need to draw a line in here from four, sorry, the next five seconds, sorry, from four to nine, we need to draw in a line here at, uh, at three uh, meters per second. Then for the final part of the journey, so the fi final three seconds, then obviously that scale here is gonna be 15, this is gonna be three, so the speed will be 15 divided by three, which is five meters per second. So here we will find five meters per second and draw in the line. So here is the resulting graph, the uh, speed time graph from this distance time graph. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.